Storytelling can be really, really hard to do. So today we're gonna to be covering one of the most important tips for growing as a church videographer. Welcome back to this channel, guys. My name is Tim LaPointe. My videography journey started when I was eight years old. I started filming church services and I started to fall in love with the power of video. And so my wife and I run a business called The LaPointes, where we work with ministries and nonprofits, helping them tell their story through photo and video. What I think is one of the most important tips for growing as a church videographer is simply this. Watch stories. Go on Vimeo, YouTube, try and find testimony videos, baptism testimonies, uh, church promo videos. Watch different videos and see how other people are doing it. What this requires of you though, is it requires that you take a look at yourself and recognize, hey, I've got a lot to learn. I don't know it all. I need help. I could benefit from watching what other people are doing. And you don't want to copy what they're doing, but you can find inspiration in what other churches are doing and how they capture their stories. How much B-roll are they using? Are they shooting their B-roll handheld? Are they using a slider? Are they using a tripod? Is the interview handheld? Is the interview on a tripod? What kind of angles are they using? What kind of lighting are they using? What's their framing? Are they using the rule of thirds? Do they break the rule of thirds? When you ask questions, like this you can really get to the meat of just how these people are producing their story and you can find different techniques that may be helpful for you when you tell your story when you get emotional watching a testimony video ask yourself what techniques did the filmmaker use to help bring out that emotion was it the music was it the way they cut the video was it that slow push in from the camera what things did they use to really help bring out that emotion? If you watch a video and you find yourself feeling tense or you find yourself feeling really any kind of emotion, ask yourself, what techniques is this filmmaker using to really help bring out that emotion in the piece? A lot of times when I get stumped making a video, I go on Vimeo, I go on YouTube, I go on IGTV, and I just look at different videos that other people have done. And again, I'm not looking to copy these people, I'm just looking to find inspiration. Even something like color grading, which we often don't think about, can really help bring out an emotion in a film. So take the time to go and watch other videos, watch other stories, see what other people are doing. Even if you don't like what they're doing, ask yourself, what do I not like about it? What doesn't work here? It's really important to recognize that there's so much inspiration around us. There are so many things around us that we can use to find inspiration for our stories. I have some links below to some of my favorite storytellers, some people that I look to for inspiration. Go ahead and check out their YouTube channels. And again, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to get the latest tips and tools for church video production.